Okay, so hey YouTube. Sorry if this is a bit quiet, but um, I'm doing this at night. It's 11:04 at night, and I have nothing better to do. So I'm gonna review on these things I got at Ulta the other day. So here we go. It's kind of not what my normal videos are, but I thought since why not? Why not do it? So I got. Orelli nail liqueur with the magnet. Sorry, I don't want to put it too close and magnetize it, but um, that's what it looks like. I also got this thing, and it was on sale for 19 With the, If you had the coupon, it was $19, so $20, or it was $24.99. Um, there's the top drawer, um, this drawer, which is I, and it, they're labeled. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of dark, but it's labeled. Um, there's two eyes, lips, and yeah, there's two eyes, face, and lips. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. But first, I'm gonna show you this. I'm kind of disappointed. The magnet works so well. Like it comes with this little thing right there, and you can like stick it on your nail so you don't touch your nail. So you wanna do like that. It doesn't even touch your nail. So I like that. This and has a really cool grip on it. And what I don't like is. It's super liquidy, so you kind of have to watch it, but um, it's really, really good. So this one is called Opposite Attraction. Opposite Attract, yeah. Opposites Attract. So that one's what that's called. And my hand needs my bed. Sorry if you're watching that like this. Okay, so this, um, this top part opens like this, and there's a mirror in it so you can see it yourself. Um, so the top part comes with two lip glosses, one kind of shiny pink color, it is called Whisper, and it's more of a shiny lip gloss. This one is, I'm not sure, <laughs> looks like that, I don't know if you guys can read that, but, um, it's natural, so it's supposed to look like natural or something like that. You get two eyeliners and they're dual ended. Let's see, dual ended. Um, one is deep brown and black. And the other one is smoke and plum. plum. Smoke. Plum. Deep brown, black. And then empty, it looks like this. And it has a little mini Okay. So that's what the top part looks like. And they have this in orange as well. So if you're not a big purple fan, they do have it in orange. Um, these are kind of out of order because I... But I'll do the two eye ones. And they do stay on their own because there are little wedges, which I will show you. Um, so the first one is... They all come in the same color, so you don't have to worry about where the... Orange has this color. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so... I believe. I'm not sure. I didn't check on it that, but it looked like that. But this is the first one, and it says I on it. But this is the first one, and the ones here, I'll name them real quick. This one is Complicated. This one's Amethyst. Seaside. Granite. Pearl. Bloom. Moonbeam. Ice cream, pink, magic hour, obey, sterling, thrill seeker, palm noir, sapphire, and galaxy. Galaxy is my favorite one. You can see that, but it's like my favorite one. It is so pretty, but these are the colors. I don't know if you can see that very well if I pull it out here, but... And they also come with two brushes in each side, so I really like that. Um, this one also says I. If you guys can read that, it's so hard to see it. I don't know why, but on the orange one you can see it really well. So, sorry if there's noises in there, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's, um silicone beads, but anyways, um, there's two brushes in here as well. Um, this is She Shell Cam Noir I have no clue how to print it. Verd 
I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell me what that is. Um, Trenzo. Na naked. Stardust. Sage. Silk. All natural. And artistic. Art has gold or something like that. Um, green machine and luster. Fireworks and brown sugar. The fireworks would be really cool to wear on the 4th of July. Um, and then shamrock and mink. Shamrock would look really cool if you're like the, um, if you're like a green person who loves to wear green on, um, you know, shamrock day or whatever. There's a lot of greens, so you have the pinks, browns, greens, mm, more browns. I guess this is more like a orange, I don't know. But also in this one you have your darker colors, your blues, your purples, and your pinks. So you get all the colors in one. Um, also, this one is face. This is blush. This is all blush. Do not put on your lips. Do not put it on your... Just put it right here. Um, and it comes with a little brush. This is good if you're going like on the go or something. Keep it in the locker, girls. This is bronzer. In from, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what it looks like. Oh, afterglow. A door. A lush and girly. Sorry if they're kind of glaring, but um, I'm really tired, so I don't feel like doing much. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, okay. And then the last one is lips. Lip. I should have put an S on that. That's what it says. Lip. There's two brushes, so you don't have to use your finger to rub it on your lips, but there's two brushes, they look like that. This is what it looks like. Um, the top part is Flirtini, Charmed, and Princess. So Flirtini, Charmed, and Princess. Next one is Guava, Mischief, and Pixie. Guava, Mixie, and... What? Guava, Mischief, and Pixie. Okay. And then... Toast, yeah, okay. Toast, rich balm, and berry. So toast, rich balm, and berry. Which is kind of weird, but it is called toast, like the food toast. Huh. Okay, so that's kind of funny if you're... No. Um, I'm not very funny today. <laughs> I'm laughing myself. Okay, sorry. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then the top again. I put the things back in there, but... It had a plastic thing here. I took it out because it was annoying me. So, and then here yeah, I'll put. Whoa! Dropping everything today. So if I put the lips, I have to admit their deep flaw is they don't go in very well. If you want to watch that, but once you get them in there, they're pretty easy. It does say Ulta in there, so I did put these together, right? Yep. I I face lips, and then the bottom top, and it's a circle. And then one other thing I really wanted to show you guys, and it's on my shelf right here, so I can see it pretty darn easy. But um, I, I don't know how long it's been out, but I thought it was a pretty good book to read. Um, but. I guess I haven't told you about my whole life, but this was a kind of an interesting thing, and it kind of made me think of past and present, so I figured I'd show you to it, since I, this is my, what, one, two, three, four, maybe fourth or fifth video, I'm not sure, I haven't kept track, it's kind of weird, um, but this is what it is, and I don't know if you guys can see it in, I got it at Burns and Noble, and this is called the, the Pregnancy Project, it looks like this. 
and yes that it is and on the front it says i pretended to be pregnant in high school and learned the meaning of family friends and living beyond this stereotype by gabby rodriguez with jennifer glacier in it and the back says um i'll just read this little part i won't read this part but that's what it looks like and <laughs> um it says i felt like a zoo animal all eyes went straight to my belly before people looked at my face the whisper and judgmental looks and the applaud fierce men it looked like the prostitution around the midsection like i was a scarlet letter or bad shamed that showed i was marked for life and failure or mystery because i was sinned i had sex as if none of them had da, da, da. did they think getting pregnant had also affected my eyesight did they think I couldn't see them huddling together, putting their hands around my mouth to cover whatever insults they were sharing about me? Da da da. I felt sta stabbed in the back. These people knew me, knew how hard I worked to have a real future. I hated that they were talking as if they know all along the along I ended up the statistic from the pregnancy project. So that's an actual um thing from out of the book. And the inside it says this little pain right here it says uh it's 1799 or yeah 1799 for ages 14 and up so if you're you can read it if you're a little under the age but i wouldn't recommend 10 year olds watch reading this because it does get a little gruesome um i don't think it has uh any swearing in it memory but anyways so here's the inside it says growing up gabby Rodriguez was often told that she would end up as a teen mom after all her mother and older sister had gotten pregnant as teenagers from the outsider's perspective it was partially a family tradition gabby was abandoned abundance that she didn't include teen motherhood that she wondered how would she be treated if she lived in town the others expect traditions or yeah, expectations would everyone ignore the years she put into being a good student to see the just the other pregnant teen statistics with no future? These questions sparked Gabby's school project faking her own pregnancy as a high school senior to show her family friends community that would react how they would react. What she learned changed her life forever and made it into headline international headlines in the process. The pregnancy project Gabby details how she was able to fake her own pregnancy hiding the truth from even her siblings and her boyfriend's parents, and reveals that all she learned from the experience. But more than that, Gabby's story is about fitting stereotypes and how one girl found the strength to come out of the shadow and low expectation to forget about the bright future. Ta -ta -ta. That's really good. I read the first couple of pages, and I got a new book, and I really wanted to read that book, so I stopped reading this book, which is probably really bad. But... <coughs> It's, uh, the true story of an inspired of a lifetime movie. Um, it is... pages is it? 218 pages, so not very long. And then you can actually see, um, what she looks like. That's right there. And... I wouldn't do this, and I wouldn't dare do it, but I might do a video on my past. But, um... I'll have to do that video, I might do right after this one actually, but what my past has been like is I've never gotten pregnant, I've never had sex blatantly, I've lied about it, yes, and I've came forward to that, but it's, it's not as funny as you think it is because there are great side effects, and I want to go into it, but if this was a good book, if you're looking for a book that you really just like the whole real statistics, I'd recommend it. Um, but it's very difficult to understand that, I mean, you can, all these teen mom things are very good because the teen rates have gone down, but I don't understand why they, but that really told me in my head, why should I be telling those people, you know, but it's what, what I got out of it, it changes your life, so I recommend reading it, so, um, if you get around, it's 17 and it's a little spendy, but sometimes if you're lucky, go to Half Price Books, or you can go to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I 
it's $17.99 there. It's worth it. Um, it is the best book that describes what people go through as they, if you were a real person, be right. It is amazing. Um, also, I picked up this book, and it, I got it along with the pregnancy bar, but it's called Purity. And, um, I'm not going to say what's in it, but it, it's called a pure, pure because of the better purity when she gets it and she's telling a lie to her family and um, on the back it kind of explains the whole story but it's a promise broken, a secret bear, what do you believe? Um, I guess I can read it, won't. Touch about her four best friends is purity when the symbol of virginity until until marriage, pledge they made years ago. The tab is 15 and her ring has come to mean so much more. The symbol is who, what she is, and believes in. As a member of the promise to herself in the bond of her friends. But when the tab meets a boy who kiss makes the knees go weak, everything suddenly seems a lot more complicated. Tab's best friend, Morgan, is far from supported, and for the first time, Tab was forced to keep a secret from one person whom she always shared everything with. When those secrets break the surface, Tab finds herself in the center of unthinkable verity and splits with her friends apart. As Tab enters the world come crashing down around her, she forces to reclaim her friendship, her faith, and exactly what it means to be pure. So I recommend that book too. So now I got this book of you. I haven't read it yet. And I I'm going off about a book. These are books. But these are actual books. And I love going on about this because I love explaining to girls what this is. Um, it was supposed to be my review thing, but it kind of just turned into this. So, I'm just going to show you this book. And it's called, um, Bopped. It says, Two Sisters, Two Dreaming, One Unexpected Future. This says a lot, but I'll read the first paragraph. It says, When a virus makes everyone over the age of 18 and fertile would be the parents pay teen girls to convince to give birth to their child, making teens more p uh, prized members of society. Girls support fake baby bumps and school cafeteria shock as it infused food. 16-year-old identical twin Mel Melody and Harmony separate at birth and I have never met until the day Harmony shows up on Melody's doorstep. Up to now, the twins have been floating completely opposite path. Melody has upon react with a couple called Jane. While they are searching for the perfect partner for Melody to bump with, she's finding her actions to her best friend Zen, who's way to support the job. Hermia has spent the whole life in God, good sides, and religion community preparing to be a wife and a mother. She believes in calling it to convince Melody has pregnant her prophets and sent Hermia secrets of her own that she is running from. Melody is finally matched with a most famous generally flawless Jodo. Both girls are changed forever. A case mistaken identity takes the journey of neither the imagine. One that makes Melody her eyes and realize that it has so much more than just DNA in common. It's a really good book. So I'm not going to go on about any other books. Just read the books. You don't have to be into it or anything, but I really think people should be out there because this is the truth. So. I'm going to make a video here about, I shouldn't really be doing this, but it's my life video. So, I hope to talk to you then. So, subscribe or review, do whatever you normally do. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.